Hello everybody, this is Shonda. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, and thank you for coming back if you've been here before. So I'm gonna keep it super simple today. We doing this ponytail, so if you want to know how I did this, to just keep on watching. Okay, so I am gonna run through. I'm not gonna talk doing this video. I'm gonna run through, straighten my hair out real quick, and then get into it. I started back on birth control, the birth control shot, and like I am like actively in hives right now. I have hives. So I have a little bit going on right here. But it's mainly like on my chest and my back and my stomach, which is not great. I just started um, going through this like a week and a half ago. I mean, just such appropriate timing for the kind of dress that I'm wearing. But I am going to go ahead and get started. Lift my spirits because this stuff takes a toll on you. Like mentally, I'm just like... <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and straighten out my hair and just start on my hairstyle. So I'm going to apologize in advance because I didn't realize the position of my camera was like in direct line sight of my arm. And so there's going to be a lot of focusing in on my arm and not in the mirror image. So that I do apologize. But right here just flat ironing my hair and I don't even remember what flat iron this is this is an older model and I'm using that Tresemme um, heat protectant spray to straighten out my hair go through and press out the edges because I don't really like to try to press out my edges with the flat iron so I just use my pressing iron old school iron and then I'm gonna triangle or part off the bang part it's really not a bang but I'm just gonna part off the front part two things I used to hold my hair up was some old school pump it up spritz which you guys will see and then that style boost um, edge control those are the only two products that I put in my hair Tail, took some neck strips, some black neck strips, and rubber banded down since this is going to be kind of almost like a waterfall type ponytail. And 
just started gluing. This is the part that I hate. I always hate gluing in ponytails because I feel like it takes me forever to do them because I feel like the hair is going to get caught into the glue or something. It's just, it's a lot easier to do it on someone else than it is for me to do it on myself. And so this hair that I'm using is basically just some stash hair that I have from a long time ago. Um, usually, like if I make a wig or something like that and it doesn't use glue, um, once I'm done with that wig, I'll dismantle it and then wash the hair and then just package it away for a later time. And since I haven't really been doing my hair, I haven't really been using any of the hair <laughs> that I have. So luckily this hair was still good. I was a little uh, hesitant with the color, but I think it actually turned out pretty well. And so um, I just put a braid. I used some synthetic hair for the braid. Um... And did that wrapped it around the base of the ponytail and you'll see I originally started off um, with trying to curl it a certain way and I just wasn't feeling it that way through and I just straightened out the whole ponytail first and then went through and started curling it it just made it a lot easier I back combed it um, once I got finished curling it I back combed to give the ponytail a little bit more volume than what it had and then um, yeah you guys will see the end result of it ponytail I decided at first I wasn't gonna add any pieces into the front of my hair but then I was like when I took it down I was like this looks this is the hood like why am I not gonna have any color in here so I just decided to add a couple little um, pieces in there just to keep the consistency with the whole hairstyle and I love the way that this ponytail turned out much it guys very easy and simple to do um let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i mean how do you like this ponytail do you like this ponytail where would you wear it to what would you do different so many different ways that you could obviously you know do this kind of a ponytail but what are your thoughts and if you've made it this far in this video then comment my girl right here because this is just to signify that I've done my hair. <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and turn on my notifications because we all know YouTube be tripping. I will see you guys in my next video.